Hello, welcome today to the Kentucky Valley Educational Co-ops, The Holler. Today, we would like to give you some information about angles. We're calling this, it's all about those angles. So we're gonna start out with some vocabulary. Now, first with our vocabulary, we want to look at triangles, angles, transversals, parallel, corresponding angles, vertical angles, congruent angles, alternate exterior angles, alternate interior angles, and supplementary angles. So, let's get started. Triangles. We know there are three types of triangles that are equilateral, isosceles, and scalene. Equilateral means having three sides that are equal. So, all three sides are equal. Isosceles is two equal sides, but one side is a different. So the length of the sides, two sides will be the same. A scalene has three sides that are not equal at all. So scalene means all of the sides are different in size. Now, now we're gonna measure them as uh, angles. So triangles, when we look at them, we can, we can look at them as, okay, how are we gonna classify them? By the angles. So acute means all of the angles are less than 90 degrees. Right means one of the angles is a right angle of 90 degrees. Obtuse means one of the angles is more than 90 degrees. Complementary angles. Complementary angles is two angles joined together to make 90 degrees. So as you can see, we have angle A and angle B and they're joined together and they make 90 degrees. So when the two angles sums, when added up, they will create 90 degrees. Supplementary angles are angles when put together, make a straight line of 180 degrees. So when two angles A and B are added together, they will create a straight line of 180 degrees. Parallel lines. I think of parallel lines as the highway um, they're two lines that go on and on forever, and even though they, they go on and on forever, they never touch. So keep that in mind. Transversal. Well, we have to have a transversal, we have to have two other lines, which are parallel, and it is the line that goes right through both of them. That's how we look at a transversal. Transversal is a line that crosses two others. So now, let's go into... Alternate exterior angles. Alternate exterior angles are basically opposite exterior angles. So as you see, the two blue would be alternate exterior angles. The two red would be alternate exterior angles. Alternate interior angles. Alternate interior angles is just what it says. Opposite interior angles. As you can see, the two blue circles are alternate interior angles. The two red circles are alternate interior angles. Corresponding angles. Corresponding angles um, occur which um, has the same relative position at each intersection when where there's a straight line crossing two others, so where the transversal is. If they will be on the same part of the transversal. So, um, if you look at the lines. So you can see how they would match here. Now vertical angles. Vertical angles are opposite angles made by two intersecting lines. So this is what vertical angles will look like. Hello. We are coming to you from the holler at the Kentucky Valley Educational Cooperative. And today we want to talk to you all about those angles. So first of all, we're going to talk about triangles. And there's a little activity that you can actually do at home or at school that will prove that all angles have the same, all the angle, the interior angles of a triangle all measure the same. So we're going to look at some different types of triangles today. So you can take uh, a sheet of paper, it doesn't have to be um, anything colored or anything like that, but they had these nice fun colors, so I thought I'd bring them with me today. 
and I'm going to just make myself some different types of triangles. So there's one looks like that. Here's that one. You can see it's shaped a little differently. And there's one shaped like this. Okay. So we're going to take these triangles and we're going to see, prove that all triangles, regardless of their shape, regardless of their size, their interior angles will measure at 180 degrees. And of course we know that 180 degrees is a straight line. So that's why I have this straight line here for you. So let's take this yellow one and let's tear off the, just the corners of the triangle. You're turning the angles off. Yes, I am turning off the angles right in the corner. Of course, there's another name for an angle, right? Now remember, Miss Stephanie, I've taught primary a long time. <laughs> All right, so what we do is we take these and we put these angles together, and look what we have proved. That if we put all those angles together, that they actually equal 180 degrees. So let's see if the other one's that way. Let's look at this blue triangle. That looks like a right triangle. Yeah, I tried to make it look like a right triangle. Tried to make it one. Of course, I guess we can measure, couldn't we, if we want to make sure. And of course, if we put all of those angles together, voila, it's still 180 degrees. So what do you think is going to happen with this pink one? Let's find out. Again, tearing those corners. Look at this one last one. And, of course, 180 degrees. So, no matter what type of triangle it is, when we measure those interior angles and we get the sum of all of those angles, we'll equal 180 degrees. All right, Miss Stephanie has something she wants to talk with you about. Also talking about angles. I'm gonna help her move for real quick. Okay, now I know you've seen this and Many times we talk about the different types of angles and those kind of things that are here. So you've seen this and this, the reason I did this on a sheet of paper first was so I wanted you to be able to see that these two are actually parallel. So that's a big part of any of the theorems that we're going to be working with. So this, these two are parallel and this is the transversal. Okay? So that's real important to remember that this is a transversal and it's transversing two lines, right? Two parallel lines and that is so important and you want to look for that each time. You want to make sure that if this is line A and this is line B, that line A is parallel to line B, okay? Actually, if we do parallel, it's this way. Up and down. Yeah, it would be this. So line A and line B are parallel and we want them to see that and we want to make sure that we know that each time. So now we're going to talk about the angles inside. What are alternate interior angles? What's alternate exterior angles? What's corresponding angles and why are they corresponding? And I want to show you a trick today so that you can make sure that you understand which ones actually go together. So I just recopied this onto a sheet. We know this is line A and I'm going to put it right here. This is line B. And we're going to just name these. Uh, let's do S, T, U, V, and C, D, E, and F. Okay? Now, the cool thing about this is when we talk about exterior angles, they're on the ones on the outside, as you can see. Interior angles are on the inside of the two lines. So keep that in mind when we're doing this that this is interior. And this is exterior. That's kind of like paint, right? Exterior paints for the outside of your house and interior paints for the inside of your house. Right? Exactly. Yes. Okay. So, one of the things I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut this so that you can see the angles that actually have the same amounts. 
Now I know that you can see this. Now I'm going to recopy it onto this one so that we can talk about it in just a minute. But, and I should probably done this before, but that's okay. I want to cut this in two. Now, I'm also going to lay this right over this. Now, if I lay this right over this, does that line continue? Sure Can you does. see it? It continues. Look at here. Wow. They can actually, you can see that line continuing. These lines are over top of that. They're going to stay right there together. Guess what? Now I can pick this up and I can say C is equal to S. Ah, oh, look at there. They're core. Mm, that's D cool. D is equal to T. B is equal to U. And F is equal to V. Now, the great thing about this is I can also flip this around. This is where we're going to, though, now we can start talking about interior angles and exterior angles. Because remember, C and D are interior with U and V. So, C here, and we're going to line this up. As you can see underneath of this, that line is going to be perfectly lined up. Both of these are. C is the same as V, which look at here, C and V are alternate interior angles. D and D lines right up with U. D and U are alternate interior angles. Now, E is an exterior angle, because we know that. And what do you think it was going to line up with? I think it will be T. Well, let's open it up. Ah! And right there is T. Now, F is going to line up with S. That's what we should have. And we're going to make sure. And it does. So now, just like she said, if we're thinking about painting a house, interior means I'm painting the inside. And exterior means I'm painting the outside. And if I'm talking about alternate, they are opposites of. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Yes, thank you for joining us. We'll holler at you later. Bye.